Let's make the drums from Turn on the Lights again by Fred again and Swedish House Mafia. First, let's start with a kick. This is a kick from the Murder Beats pack on Splice. Then I added another layer, which is just 100% room reverb. So together, the kick and the room reverb sound like this. Then I sampled this snare from Good Morning by Kanye West. Then I layered that with a rim shot. And together, the snares and the kick sound like this. Then I added in the top loop, and I just sampled the top loop from the original track. And so I always recommend that if you can find isolated drums from songs that you like, go ahead and sample them and reuse them. If you don't want to use the top loop from the original song, then you can create your own. So I'd use a hi-hat, a shaker, some percussion, some crowd noise, and then that top loop will sound like this. And then you can add in your crashes and downlifters. So together all the drums sound like this. Now let's play them with all the instruments. Turn on the lights. Let's make the bass to turn on the lights again by Fred again and Swedish House Mafia. So you probably need headphones to hear this because it's a pretty low subby sound. But oscillator A, let's go analog BD sign. And I'll raise this level up a bit. Turn on oscillator B. And I'm also going to do analog BD sign. And so this bass has a wobble effect. And to create that, I'm going to raise up the fine tuning of oscillator B. And that's going to put oscillator B slightly out of phase with oscillator A, which will cause the two waveforms to cancel each other out at certain points. So there you can hear that wobble. So I'm gonna decrease the level so it's a bit more subtle. Now I'm gonna raise up my portamento, turn on always, turn on mono. I'm gonna add on a filter, MG Low 18 for A and B, just so I can add some drive. Now I'm gonna add a compressor and then some distortion. I'll leave it on tube, raise up that drive, lower the mix. And I'll add some more saturation and then another EQ rolling off the top end and giving a boost around 225 hertz. And then a sidechain compressor. And I'm also gonna add some automation to add a pitch bend. Also at the beginning of the drop, he has a bass drop. So you can add in a sample like that. Turn on the light. Let's make the vocal chop from Turn On The Lights Again by Fred Again and Swedish House Mafia. Fred Again is using a vocal that is making the ooh or ah sound. So I found this vocal sampler from Splice.com. And then I loaded it into my sampler and just selected this section. And then I went to my pitch and oscillator and added on glide so that there's a bit of glide between the notes. And then here's the MIDI. And then I added on a multiband compressor, some saturation, and some EQ because I felt like it was too mid-rangey. Some reverb. And finally, a delay. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Let's make the bass from Danielle by Fred again. Let's first talk about the bass line. It's going to be on a triplet grid, and that will give it its groove. So for Oscillator A, let's do Analog Basic Mini. Raise up that level. Go to your envelope 2. Adjust a bit like this. Go to your voicing, select mono. Turn on always, and raise up that portamento to about there. Go to your LFO1, let's adjust it like this, turn off APM, and let's raise up that rate, turn on envelope, now go to your matrix, and we'll do LFO1, send to the master tuning, click on this arrow so it only goes to the right, and let's raise this up to let's say around 15, and that'll give us a bit of a knocking sound, go to your filter, let's do MG low 24, assign envelope 2 to the cutoff, adjust the modulation a bit like this, and then turn on key tracking, and now it's really quiet so I'm going to add on a compressor and raise up that gain. Then I'll add on the hyper dimension, let's lower that mix, lower the size, and raise up the mix on the dimension. Then I'll add on an EQ and dip around 200 to 300 hertz. Then after that, I'll add on an ambience reverb just for some width. And then I'll low cut around 20 to 30 hertz. And then add on a kickstart 2 for my sidechain compression. Let's make the bass to Danielle by Fred again in Vital. Leave oscillator 1 on the initial preset. Set your voices to 1. Turn on Always Glide and raise it up. Go to envelope 2. Adjust it a bit like this. Turn on your filter. Let's do analog 24. Lower that resonance. Assign envelope 2 to the cutoff. Adjust the modulation to let's say 97. And raise up key tracking and lower the cutoff. Now go to your LFO 1. Adjust it a bit like this. Set the mode to envelope. Set the frequency to seconds. And let's say around 0.01 seconds. Now go to your matrix. And let's assign LFO 1 to the voice transpose. And raise it up to about here. Now go to your effects, and let's add on a chorus, take down that depth, take down delay 2, raise up that cutoff, lower the spread, and lower that mix. Then I'm going to add a little EQ bump around 80 hertz. Then I'll add on a really small ambience reverb for some width, and a kickstart 2 for some sidechain compression. Let's make the synth pad to Nathan by Fred again. Oscillator A, raise up the unison to 16. Turn on oscillator B, lower the octave to negative 1, raise up the unison to 16, lower that detune, and lower that level. Turn on your noise, go to organics and do air can 3. Turn on this keyboard button, lower the pitch to negative 1, lower that level. Go to your alpha 1, set the rate to 1 half, assign alpha 1 to the fine tuning of oscillator A, adjust that modulation. Go to your envelope 1, make it look like this. Turn on your filter, let's do MG low 18, turn on for A and B, assign envelope 1 to the cutoff, adjust the modulation, raise up your drive to about 33%. 
Let's add on some tape saturation. Lower that mix. Add on a low cut EQ around 200 hertz. And then give a boost around that high end. Add on a compressor. Then add on a hall reverb. Raise up that mix. Now I'm going to go back to this macro knob and assign it to the fine tuning of oscillator A. And then I'll automate that macro knob so that the notes slowly detune throughout the chord progression. And then I'll add on a kickstart 2 for some sidechain compression. I'm not Let's make the bass to rumble by Fred again and Skrillex. For the 16th note bass, I'm just going to use a kick, add on some saturation, and cut off the top end. Now for the womp bass, oscillator A is to do spectral odd pass, raise up that unison to 7 and lower that detune, raise up that wavetail position, turn on oscillator B, lower the level all the way, go back to oscillator A and select FM from B, raise it up to about 40%. Adjust your alpha 1, set the rates 1 4th and select envelope, assign alpha 1 to the level of oscillator A, and adjust that modulation, assign alpha 1 to FM from B, and adjust that modulation. Now let's add on an asymmetric distortion, raise the drive and mix all the way up. Let's add on an MG low 18 filter, assign alpha 1 to the cutoff, adjust that modulation, raise up that resonance and raise up that drive, and then add on a compressor. Run for them life, when I step into the jungle, so they wouldn't group up. They better move up, never gonna win a roll rumble. Let's make the bass to jungle by Fred again. Turn on your sub, oscillator A, let's do analog basic shapes, and I'll do this pulse wave. Turn on your filter. Let's do MG low 18. Lower that cutoff a tiny bit. Raise up the drive. Now add on some distortion. I'll do diode 2. Raise up that drive. Lower the mix. Now add on a compressor. And then add EQ bump around 70 hertz or so. And one thing to note on the MIDI is I feel like he overlaps some of the notes to get that distortion sound. So after that, add on a sidechain compressor or kickstart 2. And then there's a part of the bass line where it goes up an octave and it sounds a bit wider. So I'm going to duplicate that bass, turn off the sub, raise up my filter a tiny bit. And then I'm going to add on this hyper dimension with a 4 unison and lower the mix. Let's make the synth to adore you by Fred again. Raise up your portamento and set it to always. Also to A, let's do analog basic mini. Raise up that unison 8 and lower that detune. Adjust your envelope 1. Adjust your envelope 2. Add on a low 24 filter. Assign an envelope 2 to this cutoff. Adjust that modulation. Lower that resonance. Raise up that drive. Adjust your velocity curve. Assign your velocity to the level of oscillator A. Adjust that modulation. Assign your velocity to the cutoff. Adjust that modulation. Take out some frequencies around 3 to 400 hertz. Add on a compressor. Add on a 16th note triplet delay. And then add on a hall reverb. So much better at everything. Let's make the lead to Maria by Fred again. Also, it's to analog saw rounded. Raise up that wave tail position. Raise up the units into seven and lower that detune. Also, to be let's do analog basic shapes. Turn on sync. Raise it up. Raise up your units into five and lower that detune. Slow down your attack on your envelope one a tiny bit. Adjust your envelope two. Go to your alpha one. Set the rate to two bars. Assign alpha one to the fine tuning of oscillator A. Adjust that modulation. Turn on your filter for A and B. Assign envelope two to the cutoff. Adjust that modulation and raise up that drive. Adjust your velocity curve, assign your velocity to the level of oscillator A, assign your velocity to the level of oscillator B, and then assign your velocity to the cutoff. Add on a compressor, add on a chorus, adjust the settings like this. Add on a phaser, adjust the settings like this. Assign alpha 1 to the mix of your chorus and phaser. Add on a hall reverb. Add on a down sample distortion, set the drive to about 20% and the mix to 30%. Then add on a low cut EQ and a high shelf boost. I want to show you how to make one of the bass sounds from Baby Again by Skrillex, Fred Again, and Forte. Most of the basses are pretty minimal, but there is this one that is like this sine wavy transition sound I wanted to show you how to make. In Serum, I've got my mono turned on and also legato. I have legato turned on because I have this attack really slow, but I only want some notes to have a slow attack. So I want this first note to have a slow attack and also this fourth note. And I have these other notes slightly overlapping so that they don't have a slow attack. Oscillator A, I have a sine wave negative one octave, the FM from B at 33%, randomness down and the level all the way up. Oscillator B, I've got another sine wave, the level down and also the randomness down. Also, I'm going to add a bit of chaos to my A panning because in the song, it sounds like that this second note pans a little bit to the left. So you could automate a pan or put on that chaos to create some unique variations. Then I'll add on a tube distortion, adjust that drive and that mix. I'll add on the hyper dimension, adjusting this mix and also the size and mix on this dimension section. I'll add in a compressor, and then just a tiny bit of a low cut and a high-end boost.
Let's make that clicky drop bass in Baby Again by Fred Again, Skrillex, and Fortet. Turn your voicing on to mono. All set is to analog basic shapes, and we'll do a sine wave. Lower this randomness. Adjust your envelope one, adjust your envelope two, adjust your envelope three, and that's gonna be a really, really tight envelope. Off slider B, let's do basic shapes, and we'll do a triangle wave. Lower this randomness. Now assign envelope two to the level of oscillator B. Adjust that modulation. Set your warp knob on oscillator B to sync. Assign envelope three to your sync knob. Adjust that modulation. Add on a low 24 filter. Turn it on for only oscillator B. Assign envelope two to this cutoff. Adjust that modulation. Lower your resonance and raise up that drive. Assign Envo 3 to this cutoff. Adjust that modulation. Add on a compressor. Add on a tube distortion. Turn on this post filter. Adjust your drive in your mix. Let's add on a delay for that Haas effect. Adjusting this filter so we're just affecting the top end to get that click nice and wide. Let's make the lead too strong by Fred again and Rami. Leave it on the default preset. Raise up that unison to 5. Lower that detune. Raise up that level. Adjust your envelope 1. Turn on your filter. Let's do low 24. Assign envelope 1 to the cutoff. Adjust that modulation. Raise up the resonance and raise up that drive to about 30%. Let's add on a 16th note dotted delay. Add on a hall reverb. Adjust your size and decay. And adjust your low cut and high cut. And raise up that mix. And then I'll add on a compressor. <laughs> 